Where is he? Where's he gone? Where have you been? I run out of diesel. You wouldn't believe how long it's took me. Three miles. It took me half an hour. I've got no diesel, had I? Couldn't get any. So I've had to come to work in the caravan. Three miles. Half an hour it's took. It's a good job you didn't see the big line of traffic behind me down there. They went mad. Crazy. Good job I charged the battery. But I would, if it was me and I was putting a deposit down on a brand new caravan for next year, I think I'd be paying with a credit card just to make sure if that deal disappeared over the week. So, this week we're going to be looking at prices. Is it the time to sell? Isn't it the time to sell? We've had a lot of people selling. And uh, on Auto Trader, the used caravans, the numbers are going up, so we're going to get into that. New, we're going to have a look at a few issues with new caravans, a bit of news, a bit of updating, and we're going to have a look at a few different layouts. We have been, probably for the last two or three weeks now, we've been buying a fair bit of stocking. Um, and that's one of the reasons, again, for doing the video as a lot of people, I think, are selling because they think that prices are going to go down for next year. So they're thinking, right, we'll get best price now for our caravan and then we'll buy something else next year, which could create a bit of a problem. But it's great for us, in all fairness, because we're, we're stocking back up. Things are selling quite nicely. Got a Bailey Unicorn Vigo. I've done a couple of videos on island beds and this is one that we've not really done recently. So we'll have a look at this one. Um, and again, this was actually somebody that is selling their caravan because they're going to buy a motorhome. So not just the normal situation that we've been coming across for a lot of the a lot of the vans that we've been buying in. Really nice layout with the island bed at the side. Now the big issue with this is the washrooms at the back. So anybody using the front seating has to then come through the bedroom to the bathroom, which is great if it's your own family, but not so great if it's friends. And again, you've just got a, a concertina door to divide the, the front and the back. So it's not a solid door, it is just a concertina door, but you get the nice big fridge freezer. High spec, um, good good quality um, on the unicorns to be fair the spec and the finish is is pretty good um, as good as the Bailey range are to be fair I quite like this extra. yeah nice quality. little bit of curve on the top so it just it just changes it from your normal square straight lines and that is where Bailey are quite good is just coming up with different functions um, again on the Bailey there's not a lot of demonstrators out there on forecourts at the minute um, so new it's slowly starting to come out. Normally, this time of year, the, the new demonstrators, the dealers, are fully stocked. They're all on show. You can go and have a good look round. And again, just, just because of parts and bits and bobs, really, um, parts is causing a bit of an issue on the new side, which, again, I think prices will end up going, going up for the brand new even more than what they already have done. Um, we're going to have a look in a little Swift here. This is a little two berth. Again, we purchased this from a couple that were actually swapping over to a static caravan. So a nice 2020, fairly new, uh, nice spec. You don't get the electric hob ring on these. It's just three burner gas ring but you do get a lot of plug sockets you've got usb sockets at the front you get the nice swift command panel and one of the reasons that i'm mentioning this is that if you're looking at 2022 swifts you might not be getting that 
you might be getting the old panel. Um, Swift have reduced the numbers of vans that they're going to produce this year. And one of the reasons is that they can't get the get the parts. Real nice washer and good, good usable separate shower and toilet. And you've got enough room in here to actually get changed as well. Um, so you can use this as a nice dressing room. You've not got to close all the van down. So it works a, a nice, nice two berth. And again, this has been kept really, really nice to be fair. Um, but this panel in the 2022s, you're not necessarily going to see in all of the brand new Swifts. Roughly half of the range is going to go back to the old control panel, and it's only really going to be the higher spec vans that you're going to see this panel. So, gone backwards a little bit, and I'm not sure if I was buying a brand new 2022 van, the reason that I want a new van is that I'm getting all the latest technology not technology from four years ago uh, but if they didn't do that they couldn't produce the amount of vans that they are going to produce um, which is already reduced from what they were producing so again it's going to create a bit of a stock shortage on new again for next year which again i am getting round to what we've been finding um, with people i think have got the perception that the prices are, are as high as they're possibly going to be we'll cash in now and we'll look for a new van next year um, which probably 70 percent of the vans that we're buying in at the moment is that that case people they're selling the caravan they're selling it now thinking we're going to get the best price for it and then we're going to buy next year at a lower price now as i say really really good for us because we're managing to stock back up again um the issue with that is if prices don't come down and then the shortage continues where you can't actually get what you're after you've now just sold your caravan you're now going to have to buy another caravan and if you can't get exactly what you're actually looking for so you can't get the specific layout that you want so you're now going to have to find something else just to make do if prices do go up next year which there's a good chance that they may possibly do i'm not saying that they definitely will but i'm not too sure that the price they're really going to come down in price for next year so you sold your caravan on the hope that you can get the new layout next year cheaper you now can't get the layout that you want and you've got to pay top whack for something that you don't really want now well, you're also going to have to start booking sites up for summer holidays yeah, as well yeah they got booked up early so, so you do that without a caravan you run the risk then of and then and that is then what it's like the fuel at the minute exact perfect everybody panics and then they've put the prices up of the fuel £1.50 a litre from £1.20-odd. And you have to pay it because you need it. And again, that I'm, I'm not saying don't sell your caravan now because that it's great for us. We are now buying the, buying the vans. We're selling the vans. Um, but if you're thinking that that's what's going to happen and that's the case, there's a few things that I'd probably... I'd look at it differently rather than just thinking, right, I'm just going to get rid of mine now, uh, wait till next year, and then I'll buy exactly what I want. I don't think I'd be looking at it like that. I think I'd either be saying, I'm going to order the new caravan, so that's guaranteed I've got the new caravan. Because again, it could possibly be that all the new caravans come November, December, next year's models have all sold out. So if you're after a new, and then you can't get one and you've already sold your van, so you're then stuck. Um, or if you're thinking, right, I just want something different layout wise, I'd probably make sure I can get that van before I let mine go. Um, and it's, it's just, it, I don't know, it, it could just create this case of panic buying again next year, which again is only going to send the prices up. But also, car dealers have given you a part X figure, and then when your car comes in six months' time, it could be lower. So our caravan dealers doing the same. So are people then thinking, well, actually, I best sell it now 
in case it comes Which, below. that that makes sense, doesn't it? You, yeah. That you are probably, but if you're ordering a brand new one, then you're probably better saying, well, yeah, I'm not going to use it till March anyway. My new one comes in February. But what if that's delayed? Well, yeah, this is, it's all the ifs and buts. And, so it's, I think it's making sure that whatever your situation is, that you do the right thing. Um, and I think as we go around and have a look at a few vans, we'll talk about a few different scenarios and probably how to help you do the right thing. Single beds. We haven't done many videos on single beds. Great, great layout. Families, couples. Um, if you fall out with your wife, you're not going to sleep next to her. So, so much you could send her up the front or... Good, good option where, again, with the island bed, you do normally, it's against the wall and you've got to sort of get a step round it. Whereas with the single beds, you can both get in and out of beds. You're not going to disturb each other. So a good, a good layer. And again, you get a decent sized washroom at the back then again. Nice fun. Good seating area at the front with, um, you can sort of lie out to a, to a degree, that side is slightly shorter on this one, um, but again, you, you can still sort of lie out. So there's just enough room. Remember, I'm only four foot, so I'm making these beds look really, really big. Uh, now, these are uh, about 4.8, something like that feet, um, but there's enough, if you're six foot odd, which I've, obviously I'm not, um, you're probably gonna struggle a little bit more than I am, um, but they're a decent size, decent size seat in there at the front. Um, what else have we had? A little carousel, I've not got the keys for that. Pop-up caravan. Um, is, is there gonna be as much demand for these now with the law changing on the towing? We did, a, we did the uh, towing license law change a couple of weeks ago now. Um, so is there going to be as much of a demand for this sort of a thing with the new license change? I think that there will, because these are quite a niche niche market. This folds down, and we will do a video at some point where we, we'll fold this down, and it literally comes to, it's a trailer. It's a small little trailer, you can get it into the garage. It takes about 10 minutes to put up and down, um, and again, once when we've got time, we will do a video on one of those. Trying to think what else we've had new in. Uh, we've got a nice six berth. Let's go and have a look at this nice six berth up here. So I think what it comes down to, and again, going back to that price, as I say, we've got a lot of people at the moment that are selling, that think it's the right time to sell. But I think you just need to be careful if, if that's what you're thinking. Um, and it's a bit counterproductive, really, because I want you to sell your van to us so we can have got stock to sell. But I just hair on the side of caution. Um, and I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot by saying it, really. Nice uh, family van, this one. Um, so you've got the seating at the front makes into a double bed, side dinette with the bunk bed as well, so the bunk bed comes up, sleeping, another one, and then you've got the two fixed bunk beds here, and then you've got a nice washroom at the, at the back. Um, nice, nice family, family caravan. And again, the people that we bought this off, this is exactly what they're doing. They've said, we're selling it now, make sure that we get as best a price as we possibly can. We're not going to use it over the winter, so it makes sense for us to sell it. And then next year, we're going to hopefully buy one a bit cheaper and we'll get a different layout because the kids aren't coming with us anymore. And only time's going to tell. I don't know whether there's going to be loads of stock available next year or whether there isn't, whether the price is going to go up, whether they're going to go down. And it, I think everyone's situation is different. So it is just making sure that, like I say, if you're buying new, um, it's probably not such a bad idea to sell yours now because if you can get a guaranteed price for it now, you've not got the risk of prices going down next year. But just make sure that your new van is definitely going to be delivered. Let's have another look at 
We've got a nice six berth coach and we've got a couple of six berth, good family, family vans. Is this six or five berth? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Oh, fell over. So we've got two, three, four, five. So just a five berth this. So you don't get the, the bunk bed on that side dinette. Um, whereas that Sprite that we just looked at, that had got the bunk bed. But this has just got your seating. Side dinette, no bunk bed. And then the two bunk beds at the rear that are fixed. And then the washroom just at the back with a good good sight. So very, very similar to the, to the last van. Um, and again, I think this was again another couple that said we're selling it now because we're going to buy something different for next year. So just make sure that if you are selling it now, that you're happy to not have a van next year because that could happen. So another bit of news, uh, stickers. Now, if you're going to go abroad and we went to a site in... Where was it the other day? It wasn't East Anglia, was it? Anglesey. 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 Wales. Wales. So we went to Anglesey and I never realised that the port where you can go to Ireland is so close. So we saw a lot of Irish cars and coaches and stuff coming over that have just come over from Ireland. Now, if you're going to go on the continent, Europe, um, the old GB stickers aren't now... Um, relevant so if you've got a GB sticker on the caravan or the car you've now got to have a UK sticker so that has changed for since we've brexited um, you've got to have that UK sticker on there not the old GB one so just make sure that you swap that over and um, we do get quite a few vans that have got the, the GB stickers on there etc um, and just typically I can't find one no, it doesn't sound like it. We're just a United Kingdom, apparently. No. So, uh, yeah, another bit of news. Just, just make sure that if you are going to go on the continent, and I didn't realise, as I say, how close it was to the port to go over to Ireland. And I, it, we, we had a quick look. Motorhome is about £500 return. Depends, obviously, when you go. Uh, car and caravan was about £600, was it? Um, that was return. From us here in Wolverhampton, it's about two and a half, three hours, say, depending on which way you go. And I, I just never realised that going to sort of Ireland, you could get there as quickly. I think the ferry took about three hours. Um, so a fairly decent, easy way to, to go. That one's locked, so I can't show you that one. They, again, another customer selling because they're going to look at something different for next year um, prices glasses guide has just come out for October and they've gone up another 500 pounds now the the glasses guide that comes out for every three months basically so that will now cover us till about January now they're pretty confident that prices are going to stay up 500 pounds from where we already were for another three months at at least you look at a lot of dealers um, four courts are empty they're not getting the new stock through and again this brings us back onto new again if you are buying a new van and you're putting your deposit down because you have to put a fairly hefty deposit down ready for when that comes through next year it might just be worth paying with a credit card and the reason that I say that is that your credit card should cover you for that deposit We've got a fair amount of stock and we've bought stock all the way through and we've, we've, we've tried to really move with the market um, as prices have gone up. We've, we've given more money for the, for the stock. We've, we've just adapted the business, basically. A lot of the new dealers haven't really done that. They've just like, we literally waited for the new stock to come through, then tried to get the part exchanges. Now, if people aren't going to part exchange for next year because we're already buying the part exchanges now, the new dealers, if they haven't got the part exchanges coming in, they're not going out and buying the used stock like we are. They've only got the new to sell, so they've not got as many units to sell, but they've still got the same overheads. Something somewhere has got to give. 
So I would, if it was me and I was putting a deposit down on a brand new caravan for next year, I think I'd be paying with a credit card just to make sure if that deal disappeared over the winter um, because they've got nothing to sell basically and they can't live on deposits for, forever, I'd just be a little bit cautious um, and bear that in mind when you're paying a deposit. Just use a credit card, you're covered. You're not going to end up with a situation where that dealer has then disappeared um, and disappeared with your money, unfortunately, which I hope it doesn't happen, but just work on the possibility that it, it could happen. Um, we had a Luna Clubman come in. He's just doing all the PDI on, on that. That literally came in the same weekend that got sold. Um, we've had a few more like that, and which the Buccaneer Galera that was there, that's gone. The Swift 635, that's gone. We've still got the best car, we've not done the video. We've got to do a video on that at some point. Um, but I think that pretty much wraps up for where we are. As I say, Glasses Guide up £500 for the next three months. So just if, if you're sat there and you're thinking, right, yeah, I'm going to sell it now, my used caravan, I'm going to sell that now, get one cheaper next year. Just just think about it before you do that. If you do want to sell it, ring me and I'll buy it off you, no problem whatsoever. Um, but just make sure it's definitely the right time to sell um, and that everything is all going to pan out as you, as you want it to. Morning. Tell you what, that's the future. No traffic, cup of coffee, bacon sandwich on the way to work. Did take half an hour, but it had its upsides. <laughs>